Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Beautiful people was good, family. Man, it is a beautiful day that Yahuwah has made. Giving all praises, all honor to Yahuwah, Sabaoth, who is my creator, the Eloah of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Double honors to Yahusha, Hamashiach, who is my kinsman redeemer, who is king. He laid his life down as the Lamb of Yahuwah. Come on, man. The Ruach HaKadosh is present in my life. He is in me. He is on me. He guides us in all truth. And he comforts us in the time of need and gives us a way of escape in the time of temptation. Come on, man. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Rejoice. Be glad. Look at that sun. The sun is shining. It's the Hebrew New Year. Happy New Year, Israel. I know we'll be celebrating from, um, you know, this month through the month of April. Um, um, celebrating it. Um, New Year is, is upon us. Spring is upon us. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful scenery. Out here at the park. Getting that, um, getting that Shabbatness on me. Yes, Shabbatness. Look at the little duckies. Beautiful water. Beautiful sunshine. Beautiful clouds in the sky. Man, it is a beautiful day that Yahuwah has made. He is to be glorified, exalted. Man, I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing, y'all. To be in the land of the living. To be in the land of the living. Beautiful thing to be above ground. Yeah, so uh missed you guys last week. Um come on, much a rushing mighty wind is coming through. But I uh, missed you guys last week. So I uh, wanted to come on, just spend a little bit of time with you. Uh let you know that uh the house of Ayo, we love you. Um So yes, just wanted to come on real quick and um, just say we love you. House of Ayo loves you guys. We appreciate everything. Um, man, I feel, I just, I just, man, with so much going on, man, it's just um, amazing. Yesterday, man, um, my rib, my Isha is my witness. Um, yesterday just got some, just some of the most Expounding news, um, and I just—I was already in that mode. You know what I'm saying? I was already in that mode of just, just meditating in the Most High's Word, and just, just really locked in on Him. Just really locked in on being yoked uh, with Yahusha. Who is Adonai? Just really being locked in and meditating. Um, yeah, family. So I was really like yesterday, just really sit alive on the goodness of the Lord, man. Um, it's just, it's just whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, I didn't even, yeah, I got the head on, it's crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, man. When you, despite what we go through, despite channel um we deal with things in the house of io we deal with things practically the most high wants us to have that perfect balance 
there's a lot of people right now that stay in the Shamayi, man. I mean, y'all just live in the clouds. Always got a word. Now, I'm not talking about teaching and preaching. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about every time you see him. God told me to tell you this. I got a word for you. Um, Elder Azariah. Shouts to him, man. Shouts to Elder Azariah. Um, forgive me, I'm really looking all crazy. Forgive me. Um, he had a great, great, great live yesterday. And he's always got a great teaching word. Love that Elder. Um, one thing about Elder Azariah, um, and I think it's Kodesh Hebrew, is the, the um, who he rocks with, who he rolls with, his congregation. Um, Elders, he's so balanced and practical. He's and and I the, we have a lot of leaders like that, and the, he don't he's not endorsing um, this word. He doesn't you know endorse me like that. I was just I just wanted to give him a, a quick shout because that live yesterday, he was talking about how a lot of curses have been spoken over your life from church from assemblies from camps um one example he was talking about how um i think he had an instance uh, back in the day where he was told by a leader that if you did marry this one person then for the rest of your life your relationships are going to be are not going to be good what what and and here's my here's the thing family is still happening to this day and he also said rebuke that word you can pronounce and denounce it sever cut the soul ties with it we're rebuking the wrong things in my life and when he said that I'm the perfect testimony he said, you're rebuking diabetes. You're rebuking high blood pressure. Stop rebuking that stuff. Start exercising and start eating right. Family, that was me. I told you. Part of my testimony. Hey, little ducky. He just, I know. Shalom. Come over here. You want some of this word, don't you? I know it. You want some of this word? You hear me over here? Come on with it. But anyway, y'all. Anyway. Um... So yeah, so, um, you know, I was that person. I was that person. I, I had a stroke in 2020, February 24th, 2020. Um, I was already married to my Isha. Shout to my wonderful Isha, Miss Malka. Shout Mala Butler. Um, she had me, we were eating right, you know, of course we were eating pork and the abominable things that Yahuwah ha, uh, doesn't allow Israelites to eat. But I still, sweets and, and, and sodas and all this, you know, five hour energies and all this crazy stuff. I was, I still had those things in my life. So, um, so yeah, so instead of rebuking them, I had to stop, just stop doing them. Stop, start eating right, start exercising more. And your eight, you know, my A1C better than you know it's ever been. Right now, my high blood pressure better than it's ever been in ten years. Um, so you know, it goes back to I just wanted to just you know make that point to where uh, 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 some of our leaders are balanced, man. Um, Pastor Kelly and, and uh, over at Boom Church and. Uh, uh, William Brown I watched their video I've never met them uh, I, I have had the chance to meet Elder Azariah uh, once um, I believe in High Point was the, one of the conferences up in Lexington and High Point a couple years ago um, and I was able to meet him but uh, Pastor Ke uh, Kelly and uh, William Brown I've never had the, you know, the pleasure of meeting but I watch their videos when I see how they speak and it's not just you know a lot of people can speak eloquently have the gift of gab 
but they you you can you can sense that they they truly live out what they speak. And there's a there's this balance. It's not this overture of these high lofty sayings, but there's also not such an you know uh, such a natural a naturalness to it where they're not connected with Yahuwah. This it's there right there with this perfect balance with Yahuwah, man. It's a beautiful thing to watch and see our leaders like that because we have a lot of leaders that were once there that are not there no more. I got people that have spoken things over my life. Like recently, like within the past year, people that I once called family or friends. And they have no idea what they're talking about. No idea what they're talking about. If they only knew how Yahuwah was blessing, the things that they called out over me and my family's life, if they only knew the goodness of Yahuwah in our lives right now, man. I don't like, I don't even know. It's, 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 I don't know, y'all. It's just like, like I said, we have to understand that um, unrighteous decrees, man. I say a 10 talks about that. I was just speaking with another author the other day about this. Unrighteous decrees. Unrighteous decrees, y'all. Unrighteous decrees, man. Woe to them that sins unrighteous decrees. That decree unrighteous decrees. Excuse me. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees. When you decree an unrighteous decree, and it, it keeps going in the next verse and talks about what will you do in that day of visitation? Because the Malachim is going to weigh that word that you sent out, that you decreed. The decree is sent out through the land. Kings decree a law. The land we live in now, they decree, they send decrees out, bills. It's called a bill, a law that everybody has to abide by. And when you speak and decree things that are unrighteous, Yahuwah, his word will not return to him void. And when it reaches him, it has to be judged, it has to be weighed. And it's, it's just, like I said, it's just, it's amazing how people don't get to know you, never want to spend time with you, had the opportunity to actually spend time with you. Open, you open up your home. They come over. Have a big party. But still associate and talk with the same people that you always see them every Wednesday and every Shabbat at the assembly at the church speaking with. They never got a chance to sit down and know you. But then, less than a year later, they got so much to say about you. Why is that, Israel? Why do we do that to each other? Why do we do that? Huh? What is the deal with that? It's just, it's amazing. It's truly amazing. Think about that. Somebody curses. Has someone spoken over you? What rumor? See, once again, I talked about it on another video a while back. Talked about it on another video a while back. A rumor of war does not have to mean the physical the physicality and the escalation and conflict in the physical like what's going on right now with uh, two certain countries and two and a couple and a few certain leaders because a lot more once again everybody you see all the videos on the tube you see 
all the videos on YouTube. You see all the videos of people. They just got such a God can make all this. God, can, that's it's so many layers to that war. It's so many layers, guys. It's so many layers, and it's all spiritual. So once again, saying that to say, it doesn't necessarily have to mean conflict. Someone can send a rumor. And start uh, wars are started by rumors. Wars in the spirit are started by rumors. Look at the lying spirit. That volunteer that you who was trying to put a lying spirit in the mouth of a prophet. Or just a person. To see, to test him, to see. Uh, I think it's Titus. Titus or Timothy, don't don't I don't get me wrong. I, I want to be correct, but I, it may be Titus one, where it talks about subverting whole households. And if you go look at the definition subvert, it means to shake a foundation or to pretty much uh, uh, take over, um, to pervert. And once again, pervert doesn't necessarily have to mean like in a sexual connotation. You can pervert a word. A word can be given to you by a leader or an elder, and you can take that word and do your own thing. It's perverted. So that's what subvert means. It means to pervert a way that was already set, and now you're trying to subvert or turn over or shake the very foundation and implement your. Where have you heard that before? Once again, in this conflict that's escalating now across the world. Are, are people tired of the West policies? Is a certain leader from a certain country starting an escalation because he's tired of being trying to be subverted? And it seems like on YouTube they're perverting his words, saying he's doing it for a whole nother reason when in fact he's like, no. So it's the same way today in our churches, in our assemblies, in our in the camps. And, and, I'm, and once again, I'm not saying all. I'm not saying all. You've got some great leaders out here that are leading churches and assemblies, teaching the truth, teaching um, Mashiach is Adonai, and going the right way. Hallelujah. But what about the ones that's not? What about the ones that's not, y'all? Think about it. What about the ones that have spoken curses or unrighteous decrees, decreed unrighteous decrees over people's lives? Think about it. Just say loud now. Because I don't think the seriousness time we're in right now. Look at that. Just as I was up. That's, that's where we are, man. Unrighteous decrees. Go read Isaiah 10. What will you do in that day of visitation? Hmm? Have you sent out unrighteous decrees? If you have, you need to repent. For we all are falling short. Uh, I tell my children all the time. Me on social media, emailing. Don't act out of your flesh. Don't act out of your emotion. Because you could easily, by a rumor you heard, you go right to social media and yes, you can delete a comment or take down a post, but nowadays people screenshot things 
before you could even take it away. And now it is, it can repost it and it could be on the internet forever. So think about what you're doing before you speak. So you spoke. Let there be light. You spoke it. He spoke the universe into existence. The luminaries, the sun, the moon, you. He spoke, he formed you. But he breathed his very life to you. So once again, have you sent out any unrighteous decrees? If so, we all we need to repent. Because once you hit that send button on that text, once you hit that send button for that email, once you um, hit that send button on that comment, it's gone. You can take it down, you can delete it, but somebody may have screenshot it and sent the 13 people that you were talking about. And now that's a rumor of, that's a rumor. It's war. More than, more than likely a physical for one, but it has to, it happens in the spiritual first. So yeah, so once again, man, any unrighteous decrees that have been spoken on over your life, rebuke them, cut the soul ties with them. Um, Focus on your who. Stay focused on the most high. Because that's where the house of Ayo is. We are focused on the most high. That's it. That's it. We focus on the most high. We, are, we cannot be worried about what others are saying. I'm not going to address it. I just, I just hope to say that it's happening. And what to do when that happens to you. No retaliation. Yahuwah fights your battle, okay? Yahuwah fights for you. Isaiah 43, he told you, Cole, you are mine. I'm with you. I'll fight for you. I'll move over your situation if you have. Let me do it. Hallelujah. So once again, I, like I said, I just wanted to come over, come on and give you guys encouragement um, because people that have spoken unrighteous decrees and spoken curses over your life, you rebuke them, you denounce them, you go to the most high about it. Let him deal with it. No retaliation. I tell, once again, I tell my children all the time, how many people are in prison or in jail? How many people in prison are in jail? that wish they can get that that they pull the trigger wish they can get it back once you pull the trigger you cannot get that bullet back man once you swing that knife you can't put the blood back in their body be practical think about what you're doing how many people that are in trouble right now for a rumor and starting something starting some kind of conflict that just wish they would have just took a deep breath or two or three just <sighs> say lot and talk it out think about that how many people man a lot so once again I, I, I commend my leaders out here in Israel that are practical that that teaches the, the truth and the word and don't worry about salaries and tithes and offerings they tell you the truth and if you let it rest on you you will be able to apply it to your life today in a practical way I know people right now can't even apply the word to their life in a practical manner. They have no balance. So heavenly minded, no more earthly good. They're gone. Got a word for everybody. They can do no wrong. Don't let that be you. 
Take heed to what's happening in this hour. Take heed to what the Most High is, happening, is doing in this hour, family. Because it's, it's, it can only benefit you. Some right now are living in the wrath of you. Don't even know it. Don't even know it. It's so crazy how as soon as you start alive, nobody's around until you start alive for a video. Now everybody walking. But yeah, family, that's where we are, man. Uh, it's, it's all spiritual. I'm telling you. Once again, do you listen to this? When Pilate had Barabbas and Yahushua, and the crowd wanted Barabbas, think about it in this manner. You know how when Yahushua, I could see him on his knees, beaten up, bloody, eyes swollen, half his beard gone, they done ripped it out. And as the crowd said they wanted the rabbits. Can you, can you imagine? I know it. Can you imagine looking out of the crowd? And I know you was just like, man, I done healed you. I done healed you. I helped you to walk again. I prayed for your mama, your family, your finances. But he didn't, he didn't even say nothing. He was thinking. He was, I know he thought that. It's like, look at them. Look how many people out here I done helped in this crowd. Look how many people that's speaking against me right now that they know I'm a Shia, but just for an agenda. They want to crucify me. But he already knew. That's what he had come to do. He come to live his life then. But just imagine, I'm just saying, speaking hypothetically, just imagine in that moment as they were saying, we want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. Give us Barabbas. Just think if he, he, he as he looked at, just, just imagine him looking over the crowd of them chanting that saying that and just looking like man I healed all I want to heal I didn't heal this one too I gave a word I gave a word to all he, 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 he can give a, he can give a word you see what I'm saying so now without even truly or literally saying it the people want Barabbas y'all they want Barabbas man they would rather have the criminal just to not have the truth. Mm. They would rather have a lie. Just so they don't, they don't have to face the truth. But yeah, I just wanted to encourage our family. It's, man, I just, yesterday, like I said, I just say lie. Oh my goodness. You know, once again, people that have spoke over the house of Ayo that is that is called death. Can you um, believe that family? <sighs> if y'all knew how Yahuwah has been blessing, and I'm not material. I mean, yes, in the material world or materially. Oh man, but I'm talking about Ruwakali, spiritually, the growth. I just, you know, I don't know. How can you speak death on somebody that still keep Torah? If you call yourself an Israelite, how can you say you love Yahuwah? That you have not seen with your physical eyes, you've never seen them. Look, these ducks out here is going at it today. It ain't never been like this. I always come over here, these ducks are cone, but today they are going at it, boy. Man, it's, it's an angst in the air, I'm telling you. There's a, it's an angst. Not just a feeling, but the whole world is sensing something is bigger, something is greater. But we have no fear. Like I said, Yahuwah told Yaakov, fear not, for I am with you. Fear not. 
And that's what we that's what we we can't do. We cannot fear y'all. We can't fear guys. We gotta continue in excellence. We gotta continue to stand. We gotta continue to be sober. So yeah, just wanna come over here and give y'all some courage, man. I love you. Um thanks for all thank you to all the prayers, um, all the well wishes, all the inboxes, text uh the tech text messages, emails, um, for, uh, concerning New Moon, the LP, um, it is most definitely by the work of Yahuwah, uh, and in honor of Yahusha Hamashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh, uh, New Moon is most definitely reaching the four corners, um, I, you know, I'm not a views and numbers guy. You know, the Most High is going to work that out on in His timing, views and numbers and likes and uh, you know all that stuff. That you know, I just got to do the work of the Most High. But I'm thankful for the views, um, uh, the numbers, and, and and the feedback on Spotify and on YouTube. I'm thankful. Um, just if I reach one person. That I can speak the truth to and um, and preach the besor, preach the good news, teach the good news. I'm honored. I'm humbled. So I just want to thank everybody. Um, I just want to thank thank I thank the Most High, Most High. Like I said, man, yesterday I just man, I just say loud. It was I just say loud, man. I just say loud on the goodness of your Lord. Because once again, man, we're in an hour, we're in a time that, you know, playtime is over. We have to truly be thankful, thankful, and humble, humble ourselves. You don't want L.O.I., the most high to humble you, humble yourself. He said to humble yourself because you don't want him to humble you. But it's happening. And I pray for repentance for people because it's happening right now across the world, especially in Israel. He's judging the house of Israel first. And it's happening right now. Um, so people can't see it. So you got to stay connected with the Most High, guys. Uh, once again, man, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, the channel is growing. Uh, Yahuwah is, is grand. The Most High is grand. Yahusha is grand. The Ruach HaKadosh is, is so sweet and so good and so rich. Um, it's good to be wealthy It's good to be rich If I had a million tongues I wouldn't be able to say enough So yeah guys You know Stay sober In this hour Fear not In this hour Don't be foolish Be wise. Have your all ready to have your lamps. Have your light ready. I send peace, prosperity, and love to you and your households. The house of Iob loves you. Um, another duck. Y'all over there fighting. family loves you man we're growing I, you know once again it's in the hands of the most high I don't <laughs> he does it I, I I totally trust in him trust in him so guys continue to trust in the most high continue to love one another stay connected stay rooted and grounded up root those unrighteous decrees denounce renounce consume them with the all consuming fire the Ruach HaKadosh burn them down rebuke them exercise jog, walk, eat right stop rebuking diabetes stop rebuking high blood pressure drink your water down the sweets fast pray 
repent. All right. Love you guys. Hallelujah.